Hello guys, it's Deep Shaw over here and today I'm going to show you how to create this rubber stamp effect in Photoshop. Also, if you want to learn how to create such cool things using Photoshop, then hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So this is the background image which I'll be using in order to create our rubber stamp effect. The download link for this image is in the description below. But as you can see from the image that it is a little bit darker and has more saturations. So the first step over here we will be doing is increase the brightness of this background. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select option brightness contrast. After that increase the brightness accordingly and then minimize it. After that let's decrease the saturation a little bit so for that again go to create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select option saturation over there. After that you can decrease the saturation accordingly. So as you can see after increasing the brightness and decreasing the saturation this background image is looking perfect for our rubber stamp effect. So after that let's start with the creation of our rubber stamp. So for that I need to create two concentric circles over here so for that select ellipse tool. And then set the fill of the ellipse as no fill. Set the color of the stroke as black. And then set the size of the stroke as 20 point. After that click on the document. And then type in the width and the height of the ellipse as 1183 pixels. After that click on OK. Now we need to place this ellipse at the center of the document. So for that press Ctrl and click on the background layer which will give you the selection of the background layer as well as keep the selection of the ellipse layer. After that select move tool and then click on align vertical centers and then click on align horizontal centers. After that make the ellipse layer active by clicking on it. And then we need to place the second circle inside of this circle so for that again select the ellipse tool. And then set the same settings as previous and then click on the document and then type in the width and the height of the ellipse as 913 pixels. And then click on OK. After that let's again place this circle at the center of the document so it becomes like a concentric circle over here. After that again make the ellipse layer active by clicking on it. Now let's rename the two circular layer as follows. And the circle below it as outer big circle. After that make the inner big circle layer active by clicking on it. Now I need to place two more concentric circles over here so for that the one circle will be inside of this outer big circle and the other circle will be inside of this inner big circle. But the stroke of those circle will be lesser than that of the big circle. So for that again let's make the ellipse layer active by clicking on it. And then keep the settings of the ellipse as same. After that click on the document and then type in the height and the width of the circle as 1126 pixels. And then click on OK. After that let's place this circle at the center of the document and then make the ellipse layer active and then select ellipse tool and then change the size of the stroke to 10 point. So as you can see now this looks proper now let's rename that layer as outer small circle. After that we need to place one more circle so for that again click on the document and then type in the height and the width of the circle as 856 pixels and place that circle at the center of the document. And then rename that ellipse layer as inner small circle. So as you can see outer part of the stamp is ready. Now after that what I need to do is type a text in the form of a circle between the circles over here. So for that make the inner big circle layer active by clicking on it. And then select horizontal type tool. And then select any font of your choice. Download link for the font I'm choosing is in the description below. Also if you don't know how to install font in Photoshop, the link for that is in the description as well. After that set the foreground color as black which will be the color of the font. And then click on OK. After that set any appropriate size for the text. 80 pixel will look good over here. After that click on toggle character panel icon. And then increase the spacing between letters to 60. And then minimize it. Now as you can see as you hover your mouse inside of the circle you will get a circular text box option which will let you type text inside of the circle. But we don't want that we want to type text outside of the circle. So for that go at the border of the circle and you will get this option. After that click over there and this will let you type text outside of the circle. So now type in your text. 
So now this looks proper. After that, click on this tick icon to place it. Now I want that this text to be placed between the center of the two circles over here. So for that, press Ctrl plus T. And then scale the text as follows. Press Shift while scaling to scale evenly. And then scale from bottom as follows. After that, click on this tick icon to place it. Now let's place the text at the center of the document. So as you can see now we have placed the text properly inside of the two circles over here. Now let me just zoom out of the image. Now after that the next step we need to do is bring in the portrait image over here. So for that make the inner small circle layer active by clicking on it. And then bring in the portrait image over here. Download link for this portrait image is in the description below. After that click on this tick icon to place it. Now as you can see the portrait image which I have over here has a plain simple color background. Now if your portrait image does not contain a plain background then all you need to do is remove the background from the image in order to follow the further steps. After that go to filter and then select option filter gallery and then expand the sketch folder and then select option stamp over there. After that set the light dark balance as 4 and then set the smoothness as 1 and then click on OK. Now after that we need to remove this white background from the image over here so for that right click on the image layer and then select option rasterize layer over there. After that go to select and then select option color range over there. After that using picker tool select a black color and then increase the fuzziness to 200 and then click on ok. So this will give you the selection of all the black colors in the image. After that click on add layer mask icon to only keep the selection and remove rest of the image. So as you can see now we don't have the background and only model is present over here. Now let's place this model properly inside of the circles over here. After that right click inside of the mask of the model image layer and then select option apply layer mask. Now after that we only need to keep the image of the model which is inside of the circle and then remove the rest of the image. So for that press ctrl and click on the icon of the inner small circle which will give you the selection of that inner small circle. And then click on add layer mask icon which will only keep that portion of the model image which is inside of that circle. So now as you can see we have our rubber stamp ready. Now after that all we need to do is give some touch ups. So for that let's merge the circle layer and the portrait image layer into a single group. So for that press shift and click on this outer big circle layer which will give you the selection of the two layers as well as give the selection of all the layers in between. After that press ctrl plus G to merge all the layers into a single group. After that click on add layer mask icon and then select brush tool. After that set the foreground color as black and then click on ok and then click on toggle brush panel icon and then from the brush section you need to select any grunge brush. Download link for this grunge brush is in the description below. Also if you don't know how to install this brushes in photoshop then all you need to do is click on this drop down over here and then click on this settings option and then select the load brushes options. After that you need to select the downloaded and extracted ABR brush file over there and then click on the lo option load. And then that brush will start to appear over here. And then you can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. And then click on the document using the brush. So as you can see this brush gives a nice touch up over here and gives you the feel of a kind of a rubber. So like this way you can select different kind of grunge brushes and fill the document as follows. So now after that let's change the color of the stamp over here to make it look more realistic. So for that click on add layer style option and then select option color overlay. After that click on this color drop down and then select any color of your choice. I'll be selecting a dark brown color over here and then click on ok. After that click on OK. So now as you can see it is looking like a rubber stamp over here. Now let's reduce this opacity of this group to 90%. So now this looks proper. So now after that let's add some more stamps over here in order to make it look more creative. So for that create a new layer. And then reduce the opacity of the brush to 97% and the flow of the brush to 78%. After that select any stamp brush. Download link for the stamp brush is in the description below. Now after that set the foreground color as the color which you had set for the original stamp over here. Which was a dark brown color. 
and then click on OK. After that using the stamp click on the document as follows. So like this way select different kind of stamps and fill the document as follows. After that minimize this toggle brush panel option and then reduce the opacity of the overall layer to 65%. So now as you can see the stamps are giving such a nice touch over here so that's it guys this will give you your rubber stamp effect in photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then hit the like button, also share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop. Thanks for watching, bye bye.